Hey guys, how's it going? Sean here, and I kind of want to mix things up today, do something a little bit different. I, I might continue to do these videos if people find them useful, um, but I think what I might end up doing is creating something like a, a daily vlog where actually as I'm doing things, as I'm working, I'll just record a little bit about what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and why I'm doing it. So uh, I'm thinking this series will help folks who you know, maybe in similar type of business uh, or you're an entrepreneur looking for uh, good advice on how to do marketing and funnel building and email copy and uh, just general business related stuff. So I do uh, I'm really interested in you know, staying organizing, scaling businesses, creating uh, cool marketing funnels, things like that. And, you know, if you subscribe and, and I keep this series going, uh, over time, my goal is to help you learn how to do all this better. So you'll see I'm actually on Skype here with a, a business partner, my, partner of mine, Brandon Garland, and we're working on a uh, automation uh, a, a funnel, an evergreen funnel in active campaigns. So we actually, <laughs> we've been working on this for quite a while, but we closed out a launch, did um, seven figures with it over a, a course of, of a month, and Right now, what we're doing is turning that funnel into an automatic automatic funnel. So, what that means is basically, um, as as you go through this funnel, it'll automatically send emails, it'll automatically adjust timers, and do what's called an evergreen launch. So, you can see right now we're just working in Active Campaign, which is a killer tool for automated marketing, and you can see we have all these different emails lined up. And I'm using something called Workflowy to actually uh, work or uh, organize the funnel. So this is day to day as I'm working. I'm usually uh, and I'm voiceovering over uh, the the video now, obviously. But um, I don't know why I brought that out in the middle of nowhere. But anyways, uh, yeah, I use Workflowy to help me organize the funnel. It's a great tool to actually uh, manage the emails and the sequence. And it, it's, um, it's, I've used a lot of different tools. I've used Dropbox and or, uh, Google Drive and things like that. And the one problem is I was really looking for something that could toggle emails because when, I, when I'm working on a funnel or an automation or something like that, I really like to see everything in one place. And as you can see, I can open and close emails as we're going down through the funnel and just copy and paste things in. There are some limitations, like it doesn't let you embed images or anything like that, which is, you know, fine, it, it is what it is. I, I just link to a Dropbox image or something in there. Um, but yeah, overall, really, uh, really powerful tool. So anyways, I'll jump back as I'm working on things. I'll just probably make this over the course of like a week or so, and, and we'll talk about what I'm working on at any given time, and you know, I'm sure I'll try to pop in random guides here and there but uh yeah today is the 31st and it's all about making funnels all right guys and i am back and workflow again always in here and probably ought to get used to it if you like this series but um as you can see what we've been doing today is quality checking this funnel and uh basically making sure that all the emails are in there all the copies right and putting together kind of a random list of to-do items, which uh, is growing as we speak. Uh, so for project management, I generally use, from day to day, I usually just use a sheet of paper um, to, to manage the day to day. Uh, but I, I've been using this in Trello, especially when I'm starting to collaborate with people. But a lot of times, simple task management just on paper is great. And, um, you know, I've been trying to do the batching thing where I, uh, it's talked about in this deep work book. It's a really good book, by the way. It talks about batching out your day in the last chapter, like basically uh, set a you know, plan every hour out so that you know exactly what you're doing, and then you can actually you know move things forwards as you need to or adjust as needed. But it'll give you a good idea of the time as it's filled in. Now it's already 12:27. And, uh, you know, basically just been working on this funnel. Uh, so I've got to jump over into another promotion, which is kind of nice and workflowy. I can just go over to the client and uh, I can actually just have it ready to go. So today I've got another email I need to put together. 
so we've been emailing this auto webinar out, which has been converting really well uh, for Adrian Morrison and creating some things. Uh, and I think right now what I'm going to work on is the, let me see here. Yeah, the actual results page. So we have this, this student's result page, which is pretty darn good, I think. Brandon made this, but um, what we're going to do is go through, make sure it's good to go, and we're going to email this out to the sub list. So I'll report back as I'm working on that. Uh, so back again, still same day, about one o'clock. Um, and right now I'm pulling together some stats on a promotion. It's interesting because um, I can't get the day by day registration data um, for this webinar. So what I have to do is actually, so I'm pulling together stats from a webinar that we're running an, uh, an automated webinar. And I want to be able to see how many leads we've sent and how many attendees we've you know, sent. So to do that, I actually have to go through line by line and I'll probably blur some of this data out. That's kind of sensitive, but uh, where where is numbers at? Oh, so I will actually pull the spreadsheet each day and I have to manually um, see how many registrants we had. So you can see here I've got Wednesday, June 1st. So that must be in the future, actually. That's funny because it's... Uh, it's based on their time zone. That's weird. Weird. So I'm actually just putting in, so 6-1, putting in the data in here, and then I have to see how many people actually attended. So that's weird because we haven't sent any leads on that day, but people are already attending in the future because in their time zone they can actually attend. So we've already had 38 people attend in the future which I'm not going to add in yet because that's pretty darn early to know. Uh, but I can see the 25th, I had 154 of 10, which isn't that many, but it's worth counting. I think it's because we, Wednesday the 25th, yeah, it's the first day we mailed, so there wouldn't have been that many attended. So 154, boom, and A, because that's a book email. But yeah, just pulling data together, it's all part of the fun of, of uh, internet marketing. You can't hardly uh, not do it. So uh, I'll check back in after I get a bit more data, but it looks like this webinar, the show up rates are pretty good. Um, I have to get the stats here, the, the uh, you know, number of people who attended or registered to attend and the number of people attended. It's not perfect but it, it's actually about a day behind. So a lot of people from today are scheduled for tomorrow and stuff like that, but it gives a good idea of um, how the show up rates are and how our earnings per attendee are and all that good stuff. Oh crap, I forgot I had this open. Ah! Cool, uh, so I may or may not be procrastinating, taking a little break, eating some lunch, um, uh, but I, I decided Harvard Biz Business Review Business Review is one of my favorite magazines, so I uh, it's like the nerdiest thing I've ever said. I get a lot of good content from these guys when I want to make videos and and uh, put together. Oh, my my monitor is about to turn off. Um, so I'm actually bidding on this. Well, I would just put in an offer for 125 bucks, but it's a good collection of them. I I'm not sure what good that does you, but. Yep, this is what I do all day. Sit at the computer and bid on magazines. Just kidding. That's not it. Oh, so it's like that time of day, 5 o'clock. I just start getting really tired. Um, and I take a nap, but I think I had too much caffeine. My couch behind me is actually awesome for naps. Uh, but I'm going to just drink some water and see if that helps. Helps a little bit. Um... So I'm a little burnt out on email marketing and working on that today. So I was going to show you guys what I've been working on in the back end. I'm actually using this little platform called Teachable to redo my membership site. And I'm a, you know, I'm a huge fan of building custom stuff when you can. And I actually have a <clears throat> pretty in-depth memberships website on Increase Academy. But I decided to give this a, a try. It's called Teachable. And um, it's very useful. I mean, the price points 
are reasonable. I'm, I'm playing with the $39 a month. I'll probably upgrade to the 99 just because I need the, um, the one thing is it doesn't have, um, instant payouts or what was the other thing I need? I like the custom theme thing. Um, it also didn't have full API stuff. Like I couldn't, uh, yeah, plus 0% transaction fee is nice. Um, so anyways, let me see. There was something else that was missing that I, I wanted on the $99. But uh, right now, playing with the 39 just to get used to it. Um, a lot of the free features are fine, but I wanted the uh, affiliate program. I was going to see if I could get away with the 39. doesn't look like it. So I've been playing around. The, the dashboard is really simple to use. I, I like that it. It's nice and straightforward and fast. And then the courses uh, integrations are pretty great. So I'm going to actually create a, um, a free one, which I've already created. I've started playing around with and putting just, I think I'll probably put this video in here, things like that, but just putting free content into it, which is, which is great. So I'll be able to send this to my audience and get folks in there for free. Um, and then I'm going to have my premium content in here as well, which will be cool. Uh, so I have, let's see, I have Ever Training, which I've been working on, getting everything in here. But what's nice is you can just add in the content. I, I've been, I host these videos on, um, uh, on Vimeo, uh, which is great. But I'll eventually probably start just using my videos in here so um, or you can just upload directly to here sorry but it, it looks pretty darn nice I can add in Facebook comments all that good stuff so it's coming along nicely I should be done in a couple weeks um, let me know in the comments if you think this is interesting you can play around with it I really like the way they do their uh, p payment system too it's just through stripe and PayPal I'll probably still use click funnels for sales pages and things like that, but it's it's got a nice clean look to it. The uh, the site itself looks really nice, and then you can just go into a course, you can enroll, it's a whole checkout system, which I don't have everything set up just yet. But anyways, I'm gonna play around a little bit and see uh, see if this works out for what I'm looking for. All right, guys. Well, nothing too terribly exciting this video. I know. Um, the point of these videos aren't really to be quote unquote exciting, uh, more along the lines of just a daily log of what I'm doing. I don't know. I watch a couple um, YouTubers who uh, track their daily progress on certain things, whether it's video games or uh, vlogs or whatever. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out a bit more of specific things to do in these videos. Maybe you can post some ideas below, but thought it'd be kind of cool. A lot of people ask what it is I actually do. And, you know, most of the time I'll do straight on videos from the studio, which is in uh, the other room. But I uh, figured I'd, I could also capture just kind of the daily action on the computer because uh, I am in, in the old computer a good part of the time working on different projects. So, um, so yeah, if you have any questions about anything I've talked about on the video or if you uh, found anything useful, leave a comment or uh, suggestions on what I can include in these. I'm going to try to do like one a day um, if, you know, if, if it ends up running a bit short on content to actually show or progress, I'll probably just uh, just make it more like every few days and, you know, maybe we'll set some goals, make you guys aware of what actually I'm doing and we can uh, help each other out. That'd be kind of cool too. So, uh, that'll end today's. Right now, I mean, I've got a couple just loose end projects I'm working on and nothing too terribly uh, exciting, but, um, and I can't really disclose how much I'm making with clients and things like that, so, but on, when I do my own product launches, I'll, I'll show you guys all of that. In fact, I'm thinking about getting started on uh, a new one starting here in a couple weeks. So, um, if you haven't already subscribed, that'd be a good way to keep in track of what's going on. But yeah, thanks for watching.